Salah El Bakush, a former advisor to the High Council of State in Libya, which of course advises the government there. Thank you so much Thank you. Uh, for coming in. Five months later, and Khalifa Haftar's campaign is still underway. You consider them an illegal militia. Uh, you've said that they lack support, yet they haven't been defeated. Why? Well, five months later, the campaign didn't succeed in its uh, prime objective of entering Tripoli. But five months later, the international community still cannot condemn that attack and still working on a way to get Haftar through the window instead of coming through the door. That's what's happening now. Uh, the uh, uh, Haftar objective uh, was uh, defeated. He did not enter Tripoli. He is retreating. He lost his uh, uh, base of operations in Lurian. And uh, uh, the, uh, the war continues. But he doesn't just have support, we have to be honest, from certain international backers. The truth is many Libyans don't support the government in Tripoli. Um, without that trust, uh, they see an alternative somehow in men mm -hmm. like Khalifa Haftar because they feel he might actually bring the law and order they want. So tell us what is actually being done uh, to cut the corruption and gain the trust of all Libyans in order to make your government work nationwide. No, look, look the, uh, the GNA or the Government of National Accord is no saint. Mm -hmm. uh, corruption is, uh, uh, is spread out, but corruption is also in the East as well. I mean, the, uh, the reports of the, uh, uh, of the uh, team of experts uh, of the uh, Security Council has shown how Haftar's son uh, uh, robbed the central bank in uh, Benghazi of over $2 billion. That's, that's uh, well documented. Uh, right now we are looking for uh, uh, stopping this uh, war, stopping the takeover by a, a military man, mm -hmm. and uh, going to uh, uh, a civilian government, not the GNA, for, uh, of course, but to an elected government. But Haftar doesn't want that. I mean, Haftar has shown total contempt for any political solution. Yes, there are people who support Haftar, but you find people who support a military man in every third world country. You know the uh, history of the Arab world and strong military men. Well, speak to us about that. What is the psyche of Libyans right now that there is a serious level of support, whether we like it or not, for men like Khalifa Haftar? Is the you know, the fact that they lived under a dictatorship for so long, uh, under Gaddafi, is it, is it somehow that even with all the violation of basic human rights, the total absence of any sort of democracy, is that just a better alternative to the total lack of law and order that exists without a dictator in place? People, people lived under 42 years of dictatorship, the year for security. And people fail to see that security alone is slavery and that you need uh, and uh, uh, freedom uh, uh, without security is, uh, is chaos. But we are developing, uh, it's been eight years, eight years is nothing in, in terms of, uh, of a country's uh, move towards democracy. It's a very tough job, very tough environment. We inherited a state with no institutions. Uh, even Gaddafi's people now don't have any leaders because he prevented the uh, rise of, uh, of a political class in Libya. So, okay. Uh, what happens next? I mean, what, what steps can your government actually take? And I'll say it again, to try no. and gain the trust of Libyans yes. across the country uh, the, the and cut back can, on that corruption. The government and, cannot take anything. The government is not entitled to negotiate. Haftar is not entitled to negotiate according to the political agreement that everybody declares their allegiance to France, the Emirates, Egypt, mm. Russia. All, they say, is the political agreement negotiated in Sherat in, 19, in, in uh, 2015. That agreement does not let Haftar or Sarraj negotiate. We have to go to a new uh, negotiating framework where all the parties that have actually power on the ground and can affect a solution can get together, but not the Emirati uh, plan supported by the uh, French. Okay, Salah al-Bakush, we're going to have to leave it there. Thanks so much Thank for you. coming in. We appreciate it.